Hi, this is Tim from DatingInfoForSingles.com, a website that covers everything you need to know for dating success. Today I'd like to discuss the topic, Alpha Male versus Female Beta Characteristics. A woman can love in two basic ways, adult love and nurturing love. It's that simple. Understand this and you understand a key fact that makes women tick. So what does it all mean? Nurturing love isn't born, it is a instinct. It is stronger than the will. Women are hardwired for it. This evolved instinct is intended to help a woman's children to grow up safely. Instincts are, element, are an elemental brain function which are meant to overcome the conscious will. According to Wikipedia, in social animals, an alpha male is the dominant member of the pack. It is very unlikely that more than one male member of the pack will be an alpha male. Want a good example of an alpha male from history? Take Julius Caesar. He suffered from a series of serious setbacks, and how did he treat them? By making long, strenuous marches in all kinds of weather. Now, if you wish to be the alpha male, you, you do not want to let the woman nurture you too much. If that happens, it will destroy the, her sexual desire and respect for you. A male is expected to protect and defend those in his care. It is not his job to be nurtured. If anything, it is his job to be nurturing. You should not be guided by fear, and you should not be a needy, cringing person who is in constant need of nurturing. Now let's break this down further. There are two types of women as determined by how she expresses nurturing love. The HSE, high self-esteem woman, nurtures out of instinct. It is not something she has to think about. It is natural for her, and it makes her happy. However, she will lose her love, interest, and respect quickly for an adult male if he allows her to nurture him too much. Her nurturing instincts are directed towards children and weak people, not the big strong male. The LSE, low self-esteem woman, still exhibits the nurturing influence, but it is in a negative fashion. It is what you could call malignant nurturing. This woman sends out the signal that the man cannot cope without her nurturing. It is not an attitude of respect. It implies that the man is not a real man because he needs her so much. This is especially a feature of a woman with LSELD, low self-esteem, low sexual drive. An alpha male regards extreme nurturing as something for children, not for him. Some women, however, will feel uneasy or even offended if a guy with whom she seems to, if she enters a relationship does not let her nurture him. I'm not saying that, that you need to take this concept to the extreme by refusing nurturing at all times. Sometimes it's nice to be offered coffee when you come in from the cold or to have your te temperature taken when you're sick. However, you should not become too dependent on being nurtured. What are the effects of Nurturing on sexuality and respect. If a woman lets, if a man lets a woman nurture him too much, what will happen is that her sexual desire for him will vanish. Period. Now, if you want more information on this and everything else related to sex, to success with the opposite sex, visit our blog at datinginfoforsingles.com/blog. And while you're there, be sure to fill in your name and email address. To get a complete library of seven free ebooks on dating and seduction secrets. See you there!